What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Hope all you're having a great day so far today. Getting into this episode of GH. Um, I understand Sonny was trying to go Jagger and hit him so he could get Jagger ass off the case or whatever, or sent back to, you know, DC or whatever to get him out of Sonny's hair. But I feel like that was below the bell to Sonny to bring up Karen. To bring up Karen, to throw Karen in, in Jagger's face, to throw Stone in his face. I felt like that was way below the belt, especially knowing Sonny's history and what he did to Karen. That was foul. You know, that that was foul. And I wouldn't I don't blame Jagger for taking a swing at his ass and trying to take his head off, even if he was being goaded into doing it. I don't blame him because I'm like, nah, you don't play them games. That's the you, know, you don't do those. Because my thing is, if Jagger wasn't trying to take Sonny down before. He will now. Oh, he will now. Sonny just gave him the ammunition. You just gave him the reason to come after you. Even when Scott was prodding and begging for Jagger to take Sonny down, Jagger said, no, mm -mm, that's that's not what I'm here to do. But Sonny's hot-headedness and foolishness may have just lit that fuse under his ass. You know, um, I feel like Sonny should get proof. He should get definitive proof that Jagger is the one that's after him. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just assuming just because one of Miss Wu's little guards said, oh, well, his name is Stone. That's not proof. That is Jagger. You know what I'm saying? Not even close. So I feel like, you know, Sonny, he, he need to get his head on straight. You know, his organization is pretty much crumbling. I mean, who the hell does he have left in the organization? Max and Milo been gone. Blue Eyes is, you know, presumed deceased and I guess on his way back. But then you got Brick. You know what I mean? It's like, who else really do you fucking have? You know, so it's like, get proof. I remember Sonny used to not want to make a move on anybody unless he had definitive proof that they were the guilty party. Now it's like, oh, you hear a name and oh, you guilty now. I'm like, since when? I do love how he got in Michael ass though, calling him a Judas. Because he is. Um... I ain't like how Dante was trying to defend Michael. I'm like, sir, talking about, oh, Michael was going to turn you in, but he stopped. He could have put you in prison. Sir, Michael didn't stop shit. Carly stopped him. Carly destroyed the evidence. Michael definitely was going to go ahead with it. Carly convinced them bratty little kids not to do it. So give the credit to Carly. Um, And see, this is the stuff that Sonny's talking about. This is why Sonny's starting to not trust people. Because here go Michael going behind his back yet again, calling up Jocelyn. Oh, Sonny needs Dex. I am getting so sick of this. Like, this man has run this town for 30 years. And he's he, he did it before Dex was even a gleam in his daddy eye. Now, all of a sudden, Sonny's organization needs Dex. Please, Dex is piss poor as a hitman. Like, as a second in command, he, he sucks. If I had to rate him, I'd give him a... Point one, and that's being generous. You know what I'm saying? Point one, and that's that's being that's not even a full one. It's like I'm being generous, but it's like, come on, he's not good. Like he's very green, um, very very green. And this is this type of shit that Sunny's talking about. They keep going behind his back, making moves, and it's like, if the man want to run his organization like a hothead, let him. Let that be his downfall. That's on Sonny. He's a big boy. Take care of himself. And my thing with Jagger is, out of all the gyms you could go to in that town, you went to Sonny Gym? You mean to tell me Jagger didn't know that was Sonny's Gym? Because I'm pretty sure he knew. <laughs> he knew. Ain't no way you in that town you don't know. Especially an FBI agent, because I know he keep tabs on Sonny. Like, I know you probably looked up all his real estate holdings and stuff, and you could, you know he owned that gym. It wouldn't be hard for an FBI agent to pull those records. Um, anyway, speaking of Jocelyn, <sighs> continues to be dense and naive. I agree with everything Dex told her. If Dex were to come back to Port Charles and Sonny did absolutely nothing to him, it would make Sonny look weak. At least when Dante was undercover in Sonny's organization, hell, Sonny shot his ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shot him point blank. With Dex, it's like, dude, if he does nothing to Dex, it does make Sonny look weak. And Sonny's been looking weak for a while now. You know what I'm saying? Especially that little last charade letting Gladys, of all people, get away with her foolishness. 
that was the last straw for me. I'm like, you sent her ass away? Yeah, she should have been sent away to the Pine Barrens like the rest of them. She ain't no significant character. Would have been got rid of her ass. Um, he been letting too many people slide on stuff. And I'm like, no. Mm -mm. So I definitely agree with Dex. Going back is really not the way. Because then, you know, Sonny don't do nothing. That's bad on Sonny. Um, my thing is this. If Jocelyn wants to leave and go follow Dex wherever he go, then by all means, bye bye Shoo shoo. Go go. You won't be missed. Not by me. Um... Because she really act like she can't live without Dex. She can't breathe without Dex. And you still know nothing about this man other than his penis size. Like, go sit down. Please. Um, I'm just over them. I, I'm just not a fan of them as a couple. Like, I just, I don't see nothing with them. Like, nothing. I haven't even the first time they came on as a couple. Like, I, I really didn't see it for them. I still don't. At all. Um... Anyway, moving on from that, y'all are funny as Listen, y'all are hilarious on social media. I've seen the hashtag today, Free Liz. I've seen that shit. <laughs> y'all are asses. But you know what? I love it because I agree. Elizabeth needs to be free. I cannot believe her and Finn had the goal, the audacity to sit there and talk about marriage. I'm like... marriage are they even back together like they're a couple because i might have missed that i know they know went on a date or so but i'm like y'all boyfriend girlfriend again and y'all talking about marriage i'm glad liz pump breaks on that and was like nah she good with where they're at i'm like listen i i i'm glad that they pumped the brakes on the whole marriage shit but they need to break up because they them as a couple ain't it i'm sorry but I, i'm not feeling them at all like, it's like watching paint dry. <laughs> like, paint... Me watching paint dry is probably a little bit more interesting than them as a couple. I'm just saying. Um, no. They're, I just... I, I, I feel nothing when I watch them together. I just feel good friends. That's it. Um, I am so ticked that Chase asked Finn to be his best man. Because I'm like, what? You need a best man that's fun. <laughs> Like, somebody that got some fun, some personality to them. Somebody that's going to do the best man duties right. I mean, if you're going to have a best man, he got to be able to do the bachelor party. Uh, Finn don't know nothing about good strippers. He ain't got no good taste in that. I'm just saying, he don't. Like, he just like a stick in the mud. That's probably, that, that whole bachelor party just going to be sitting, them sitting around rubbing Ben Gay and playing gin rummy. That, that's all it's going to be. Because I'm like, uh-uh, probably shuffleboard. Like, no, he ain't no fun. Probably sitting around reading medical encyclopedias. <laughs> like, he ain't got no fun to him. Like, he ain't got no swagger to him. Like, mm -mm, nope, you need somebody fun to be your best man. I'm just saying. Like, part of me wish that Chase and Michael were still friends. Cause I'm like, you know, maybe Michael could have threw the damn, you know, bachelor party. Maybe that'd give Michael ass something to do other than being all up in sunny Kool-Aid, not knowing the flavor. Um, so moving on from that, I enjoyed the scenes with the quarter mains and stuff like that because I love watching, you know, Chase sign the prenuptial agreement. I was kind of surprised he signed it, but then again, I wasn't because, you know, he's showing her in the family, like, listen, I'm not after y'all fortune, you know, and I love how BLQ tore up the prenup because she was, you know, they was both looking out for each other. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't about to sit there and let him sign a document that he barely read. You know what I'm saying? Like, he barely read the damn thing. She was like, no, you need to learn how to start reading your documents full, fully before you just sign it because you don't even know what you could have been signing. You know, so I'm glad that she tore it up and they are discussing prenups. Um, cause I Like I said yesterday, I don't see nothing wrong with having one, me personally. I, I just... I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't, I don't view it how some others may view it. Like, oh, it's a divorce before the marriage. I don't see it that way. That's just me. That's just my opinion. I just don't. I don't see the big fuss about it. Do You know, if you feel like you don't need one and you feel very strongly that you don't need one, more power to you. Um, I just hate that Chase was sitting there talking about, oh, maybe we not going to make it. I ain't like that he said that because I'm like... How are y'all not going to make it as a couple? 
How could you not? You know what I'm saying? It's like y'all are in love. He can't compare his marriage to Willow to his future marriage with BLQ. I agree with BLQ. That marriage was out of obligation. This is out of love. Big difference. I agree. You know, this marriage is love. That was out of obligation. That was a different circumstance. And I'm glad, you know, Tracy going to give um, BLQ Lila dress. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it was definitely meant to be, you know, shared and, and not just, you know, kept in a box in an attic, probably in a storage unit somewhere. So I'm glad she gave it to her because Lois kept heming and ha and, and, you know, dancing around the fucking thing. I'm like, <laughs> and my whole thing was, why y'all not just asking Tracy if you could just let her use the dress? Like, why y'all just assuming Tracy going to tell you no? You ain't asked yet. Asking you, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Ask. Tracy will shock you. Um, but I love that Chase wasn't too mad at Tracy. Like, he realized that she had her best interest at heart. Because I really do think, uh, you know, Tracy does have BLQ's best interest. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wants to see her have a prosperous future and not get swindled. You know? Not to say that, you know, Chase is going to do that. And I'm glad that, you know, Tracy welcomed Chase into the family. And it was so funny watching Tracy get all giddy when um, Gregory explained that Alexis was his friend or whatever. Tracy was happy as shit. I said, are we really doing this? I don't want to see Tracy get invested in him and his, and his ass die. I don't want to see her do that because I'm like, that's going to be another man that she care about that leaves her. I don't want to see her get invested. Mm -mm, not at all. Don't get Don't get invested. I, I prefer she not. Um, but I think that's everything in this episode, though. I think that's everything. But hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace. Peace.